I was given module 13, which is chapter 15, the elaboration likelihood model. Within this chapter, we read about central and peripheral routes to persuasion. The central route is defined as message elaboration and the path of cognitive processing that involves scrutiny of message content. The peripheral route is defined as, mental, as a mental shortcut process that accepts or rejects message based on irrelevant cues as opposed to actively thinking about the issue. I use these different types of persuasion to differentiate between discussions like politics, values, or schoolwork, and purchasing a vehicle, or choosing to help out a friend. Using the central route to persuasion would be like when you're walking through campus and someone stops you to talk about Jesus or their political group or their organization that they want you to join. Um, the central route causes you to stop and think about what's being said to you, and it makes you wonder, hey, should I agree with this or should I join this organization? These people want you to be, become part of their religion or their organization, and they're going to try and persuade you to change your way of thinking, and they're going to do this by um, using much bigger vocabulary or facts and rational cues so that you have to stop and actually comprehend what's being said to you and you have to filter it in your brain to make sure that, hey, this is what I want to do or this is not what I want to do. Um, the same thing happens when you're in school. Um, when you're doing tutoring or you're sitting there listening to your professor, they are going to use the facts and knowledge that they have to try and persuade you that the math formula you're working on, in fact, works the way that it's supposed to, or that the life cycle of your cells in biology class do what they're supposed to do. Um, they do that just because on those subjects, you're not just going to believe everything you, you hear. You're going to want to mentally diagnose all the information and make sure that you're um, getting all the right and facts and information. There are ways, however, that you don't need to think about the, what's being said to you. We use the peripheral route for things like peer pressure or buying a car or choosing to help out a friend or um, choosing to do a taste test at the grocery store or uh, people use phrases like everybody's doing it, you owe me, quick before they're all gone um, or different phrases like that to make you react instantly. So like when you're at the grocery store and the lady is sampling um, the latest ice cream, she's just going to say like, oh, it's really good. It's a hot seller. Um, we actually only have like five more gallons of it. So you should try it and then you should buy it. Uh, they do it that so that you don't really have to think. It's just a, like the book says, it's a click word kind of thing and it just kind of goes through the motions. Um, after reading this chapter, I connected the dots on when I used these routes of persuasion personally. Um, before, I didn't really think about why I said the words I did whenever I'm trying to convince someone to think the same way I do or, um, or get customers at work to buy something. Uh, like when I'm in class and I'm trying to help someone, I use logic and reasoning to s help them see the fundamentals of the concept like I do. Or whenever I'm at work, like I said, I use short, upbeat phrases like, hey, these are on sale, buy one, get one free. Um, you know, we're almost out of the flavor. You may want to get some more or something along those lines. Um, but in conclusion, the central route is defined as a message elaboration, the path of cognitive processing that involves scrutiny of message content, so basically you're actually thinking about what is being said to you. And the peripheral route is defined as a mental shortcut that accepts or rejects the message as opposed to actively thinking about it. So at that point, you're just listening to the small phrases that someone's trying to say to you so that you can say yes or no without much thought. Um, I mean, you use these, non not nonchalantly, but just every day in in your life without even thinking about it. 
Um, I definitely did. And learning about this, I'm really understanding why, how people are able to be persuaded so easily just because of the way that we speak.